Welcome and thank you once again, my wonderful people all over the world, my supporters, as many that have been so supportive to our channel. Our prayer has been that God Almighty continue to support you, even in your endeavors, and we say a big amen to that. My wonderful people all over the world, please, do you know, uh, Catholic bishops choose for peace in Nemo State. Hmm, this time, peace has come. Peace has come to reign in Nemo State. As Catholic bishops choose for peace in Nemo State, commend the Pope Ozodima. Well, the matter has been that Catholic bishops of Nigeria have prayed to God for an immediate end to insecurity ravaging in Imo State and the country at large. The bishops stated that the Hope Ozodema led administration and government deserves the peace to perform its duties in the state of uh, Imo. The bishops also commended the governor over the newly constructed dualized Olu Owere Road, which they passed through. Owere, the Catholic diocese and the bishops of Nigeria have started saying that the governor Hope Zadema deserves, deserves all the peace. His administration needs to deliver the dividends of democracy to the people of Imo State. Imo Light has been so glad this time. It was at the stance of the choleric at the launch in honor of the College of Catholic Bishops at the Banquet Hall of Government House where recently the bishops who led their 2023 second plenary at Holy Trinity Catholic Cathedral or Luce said that their trip to Owere through the newly constructed dualized road was a beautiful sight to behold. Meanwhile, President of the Catholic Bishops Conference of Nigeria, His Grace Most Reverend Dr. Linus Iwejuru Ugoje, who is also the Catholic Archbishop of Owere Manoprot of a Metropolitan Province, thanked Governor Hope Zodema for giving them the opportunity to have lunch with his cabinet, saying that, uh, as he stated, saying that the governor's uh, largest uh, hardness is known as all level of the Catholic Church in Nigeria. Meanwhile, Governor Hope Zodema said or used the opportunity to remind the bishops that uh, his government is open, is very open to supporting the church. He urged the bishops to have it at the back of their mind that the government under his watch belongs to them, insisting that uh, it is a special blessing from God that he is the governor of uh, Imo State. All right. In attendance, we are the Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ovier Omo Ogege, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Friday. Honorable Ahmed Wase, Deputy Governor of Imo State, Professor Plexide Nke Njoko, Deputy Chief Wipe of this House, Nkiru Onyejoka. Okay. I make a database a compromised Imo State government demand arise of a C. UPP spokesperson. Onto this one, my wonderful people, it was said that uh, the Imo State has called for the arrest and the questioning of the spokesperson of the Coalition of United Political Parties, known as the CUPP, Ikenga Imo Ugochinere, for claiming that voters' registration in Omoma, the home award of uh, the home ward of uh, Governor Hope Uzadema was inflicted with uh, fictitious names. The Imo State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Right Honorable Deacon Emelumba, said that the call on Friday, September being 16, during a media conference, saying that ignoring the spurious and the pedicious uh, outbreak of Ugochinere were amounts to condoning criminality. In 2023, INEC dislisted over 1 million people from voter registration. All right, based on what I've gathered in line with Legit Nigeria, I had earlier reported saying that more than 1 million potential voters have been dislisted by INEC ahead of the 2023 general elections. Meanwhile, the electoral body said it dislisted the voters after dictating double, multiple, and the ineligible registrations. On this note, those affected, according to INEC, were people who registered between June 2021 and January 2022. Meanwhile, 
On this note as well, Tenubu Bajami Bila met with Oju Zokano smothered. Onto this one, my wonderful people, the presidential candidate of all progressive Congress APC, Bola Tamit Tenubu, on Sunday visited the home of a senator representing Abia North Senatorial Dexteries, Oju Zokano, to meet with his mother, Anonis Uzo. Kano. Based on this, Tenobu was in company of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajami Bila, during the visit. A leader of the APC and former Aviation Minister, Femi Fani Kayode, confirmed this on Sunday. Though Femi Kayode did not state the reason for the meeting, there are speculations that this may be connected with Tenobo's 2023, of course, presidential ambition and the need to build a support base in the Southeast. On this note, APC presidential candidate and by God's grace, the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Asuwa Jibola Metunobu, paid a courtesy call to Elder Mrs. Eunice Uzokano, the mother of my friend and brother, Senator Oji Uzokano. All right, this happened today, being Sunday. Accompanying Asawaju was the speaker of the Federal High Cup, High Federal. House of Representatives, right to Honorable Femi Bajabiamila and others, but is on the move. Fanny Kayode posted on social media. All right, my wonderful people, that's coming shortly. Reacting one Mr. Jude Jasper Ume said Mrs. Kano has no clothes to influence who Abia people would vote for come 2023. Abia is for Peter Abi of Labour Party. My wonderful people, that has been the talk of the day. The woman, Madame Kano, as far as I'm concerned, has no federal political slot to determine or detect the power equation of Abia State in terms of a choice of candidate to vote in federal level in 2023. I would say without any contradiction of uh, a vocation, Abia State is fully obedient and uh, obesentric useful to themselves as we rightly pass in to vote in the 2023 general election. Tenebo has right to, to visit who so he wishes to visit in Abia State. So to solicit for vote. So also Abia people equally has their own right to choose the right person to vote in 2023. My wonderful people, well, let me have your take on the comment section. Please do what to support us and do what to please. Turn in your notification button so you can get more updates like this coming right from this channel. Thanks and God bless.